Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is counting on international pressure on Russia to end the war this fall on terms acceptable to him, writes EFE, with prospects on the front lines dim and military aid from some key allies at risk, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is working on a unilateral roadmap to end the war this fall and is relying on international pressure on Russia to achieve peace on terms acceptable to Kiev. The article says, as the media notes, Zelensky first revealed the details of his victory plan on August the 27th. I built this plan based on the fact that it can be implemented thanks to our partners and not the will or unwillingness of the Russian Federation. The Ukrainian president said, one of the main levers for achieving this goal will be the success of the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region. In parallel with the presentation of this plan to its partners, Kyiv is preparing to organize a second peace summit by the end of the year to which, unlike the first, it plans to invite Russia. It is clear from statements by Zelensky and other Ukrainian politicians that the purpose of the second meeting is to put pressure on Russia to agree to peace on the terms proposed by Kyiv in a document which may or may not be the so-called victory plan that it will present at the summit, the newspaper writes. At the same time, the effectiveness of this pressure largely depends on the position of powers close to Russia, such as China and India, which are so far unwilling to use their influence on Moscow to force Russia to completely or partially leave Ukraine, as Zelensky demands. Polls in Ukraine show support for talks with Russia has grown. However, as the Wall Street Journal reports, one key group of the population remains negative about any deal with Russia, the military. Only 18% of veterans and servicemen believe that Ukraine should seek to end the war through negotiations. At the same time, 15% of soldiers and veterans said they would join an armed protest if Kyiv signed a peace treaty with which they disagree. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin welcomed his Vietnamese counterpart, General Phan Van Jong to the Pentagon for bilateral talks Monday. The two defense chiefs met to discuss a range of issues dealing with security in the Indo-Pacific region. The talks take place at an agonizing moment for Vietnam, as the death toll there has jumped to at least 64 from a typhoon and subsequent heavy rains that also damaged factories in export-focused northern industrial hubs, state media there has reported. They are also occurring as China's defense ministry has just announced joint naval and air drills with Russia starting this month, underscoring the closeness between their militaries as Russia presses its grinding invasion of Ukraine. The ministry said the Northern United 2024 exercises would take place in the Sea of Japan and the Sea of Okhotsk farther north, but gave no details. It said the naval and air drills aim to improve strategic cooperation between the two countries and strengthen their ability to jointly deal with security threats. China has refused to criticize Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, now in its third year, and blamed the US and NATO for provoking President Vladimir Putin. While China has not directly provided Russia with arms, it has become a crucial economic lifeline as a top customer for Russian oil and gas as well as a supplier of electronics and other items with both civilian and military uses.